Welcome back to Iowa Live as we're going to get you geared up for a lot of fun activities coming up this weekend, Jackie, including a big festival that's going on, the Grinnell College Summer Fest, which is happening on Sa Saturday. We have Sarah Smith, the program manager from Grinnell College, joining us in studio with us. And this is really a major league event. This is a yes. lot of fun. Yes, it is. Um, it's meant to be a celebration of learning and discovery for all ages. It starts at 11 o'clock, ends at 8 p.m. It's a full day of events, and absolutely. it's meant for absolutely everyone. Everyone. Now, so, where exactly are we having a good the, question. The, the festival at? It's on the Grinnell College campus, so we really want people to have a chance to be in our, our um, classrooms, around and in our buildings, and really um, for our middle schoolers and on down in high schoolers to get the experience of being on a Grinnell College campus. Think about maybe going to a, a college in the future and what that really feels and looks like. And, and why is it so important to be on the Grinnell campus? Why is that yeah. so special? It Well, first of all, it's a gorgeous campus. Mm -hmm. I might be biased, but it is a gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> campus. Uh, lots to see and do. We have some new buildings that we just recently built as well that will be um, open for people to see. Um, but also to be on a campus, the more times you're in an experience, the more likely you can ha you can really see yourself there. And so we want those kids to be in those classrooms and, and really be comfortable of being in a, in a classroom you know, setting. For those people that have heard the name Grinnell College over and over again, yeah. how big of a school is Grinnell College? We have our student population is about 1,700 um, students and they're from all around the world. It's a it's it's, it's, a, it's a great school and, and majors in a variety of, of areas from humanities to sciences. Is there one, any one area that's, that's really prominent though? Right now prominent is, is sciences, of course, but um, we still have a lot of humanities interests, which is great as well. And a lot of our graduates go out and do really amazing things in the world. I so, love that. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking summer fest. Summer uh, fest. What yes. exactly does that mean? So what's, what's going to happen? Yes, that's a good question. So it's a day where we have both musical performances and workshops. Um, the musical performances, um, a variety of different different types of music, from jazz or New Orleans jazz to Irish music to acapella at the end of the evening. I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, and and also then we have workshops. Now, when I'm going to say workshops are taught by faculty and staff, they're not going to give quizzes that day. I'm just okay. saying, it's, it's supposed <laughs> It's no supposed to be fun. <laughs> it is supposed to be fun. It absolutely is supposed to be fun. Um, so our faculty and staff are teaching a variety of topics, again, from dark matter to Civil War songs, how that explains the history of our country, garden composting. There's a wide variety of things really? that day. So, yeah. Okay. yeah so it should be really cool. You do you there, kind of pick and choose to create question. your day? Yeah, absolutely. So we do our musical performances. That's it during that time. Okay. And then you kind of go in like a conference and yeah. you would go in and take whatever classes you'd like and workshops um, then at a separate time. But yeah, I would actually recommend going to our website and looking at what we're doing or what we have available because there's a lot to offer. Of course, you can show up that day and wing it. That's absolutely fine. Um, but I, I would encourage you to go out and see all the different classes and workshops we're offering. And you see there grinnell.edu backslash Summerfest is going to give yep. you everything that you need to know by heading online. Now you're talking college instructors and music yes. and a lot of great things going on. How yeah. much is this going to cost me? This is a great price. This is free. Free. Absolutely free. No cost yes, whatsoever. No cost. Now there is a cost. We do have food trucks that are there that day. We are not providing free food. I wish we could do that, but we're already providing um, all this to the public for free. So no, no tickets, nothing. Even the musical performers, nothing. No cost. No, I think you got a lot of folks' attention when you mentioned a uh, gardening yeah. seminar. Yes. Uh, yes. Or, or now is it going to be more of a lecture format, or what's the format of these different things we can go to? Yeah. So actually, well, the gardening one, we actually have a garden on campus, um, and students study there a uh, variety of different topics um, but that one actually we will you can either walk or we'll take you in a golf cart over to our, our uh, garden and yes yeah, students and a faculty member will be there showing what's in the garden how they got it to grow and then specifically using a special kind of compost that they um, create themselves and why that's oh, wow. important in gardening okay so, Sarah yeah. so who should be at this event yeah on all, Saturday all ages so yeah uh, really all ages from we welcome you know pushing strollers uh, babies to whatever I mean all ages so babies on up <laughs> I love it oh. explain some of the advantages of going to a school that has 1700 uh, in attendance yeah. as opposed to one that might have you know tens of thousands right well in my well and I would say too in my opinion because I did go to a smaller college not Grinnell College but another smaller college too um, Luther College actually but um, you have you have a, a smaller ratio of students to, to uh, professors uh, more of a chance to get to know those professors um, know the staff on the campus and um, class sizes are smaller there's more time to really dive in and talk about um, what those students are passionate about and the topics 
subjects they want to study in the future and be a part of in this world in the future. Now, when it comes to uh, paying for school like this, a lot of people yeah. might be afraid to say, oh, it's a smaller school, I'm not going to be able to afford it, but there's a lot of different options that are out there. Yeah, there are a lot of different office, off, uh, options at Grinnell College, um, and I would encourage you to, it's, it's not... Um, the price is is a little bit higher than some of our universities, but really um, we don't we don't look at that. We try to meet 100% of financial of, of aid that's needed. And there are grants um, that are out there. There's that are many grants, yeah, yeah, and scholarships that are available. And I know our admissions department look works extremely hard to make sure. Um, and and actually, our students have one of the lowest student debt coming out of Grinnell College, wow. which is that's incredible. A, that's a great um, stat. And that's they work very hard to make sure that we stay um, and keep those students at a very low student debt coming out of out of our institution. That is awesome. Talk, so, talk yeah. about one of the other uh, you know events that are going to be there and one of the other lectures. Yeah. We talked about the garden aspect yep. of in the compost. What else is yep. there? So we also have, uh, speaking of all ages, uh, we also have a quilt show that's going to be in our art gallery. Usually our art gallery has um, obviously different collections of, of art, but this uh, this summer it's going to be fabric art. And so uh, they're hanging them as we speak. Um, a variety of different quilts from our local quilt guild will be there. Um, along with that display, we also have a quilt of Valor um, display, which mm -hmm. is really cool. So those are quilts yeah, given out to veterans. Mm -hmm. um, and along with that, we actually have a display from the Iowa State Historical Society of the World War um, World War One vets um, from Iowa uh, by county. So that's really cool to see. You have a chance to work on a. a and different workshops as well with textile arts. So fabric show, um, quilt show, quilt of, uh, valor, quilts of valor, so a lot going on. What's the one thing that gets you the most excited about Saturday? Because Saturday's yes. gonna be a busy day for you. It is, but you know, I'm gonna really make sure I take the, the time to go in um, to a workshop from, actually they're located here out of Des Moines, a nonprofit called Cultural. They have a program called Open Book. You actually check out books from Cultural. These books are people that actually tell real stories about their lives. Um, it's a a great way to experience storytelling in a different way about personal struggles and an awareness to for those people listening to those personal study or stories about you know how we can make this the Iowa a better place for everyone to live um, and and really listen and understand that there are struggles in Iowa and I think that'll be a really cool experience to be a part of. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you get to check out Grinnell College. And Grinnell uh, College all too, right? Ages and right. it just what a great opportunity to go out with your friends, your family yes. on a beautiful Saturday and absolutely. really enjoy a little bit of everything it really, sounds like yeah. you're providing. Yeah, and and you know and, and keep in mind you you don't have to all do the same thing right. at the same time too. So up, yeah. you can split up. There's lots of opportunity for everyone that day. So it'll be great. Okay, so remind us the website so we can make those plans yes, for so Saturday. So it is www.grinnell.edu backslash Summerfest. Okay. So check that out. The schedule's on there. You can download a mobile app. We're real fancy. Ooh, and nice. then you can get your schedule going or have it there that day so you can see what's going on. Now, how so. long will it take me to get to uh, Grinnell from, say, Des Moines? Not hard at all. Less than an hour. Less so than an hour. So I drove it this morning. It's just fine. I actually come here a lot to Grinnell for different, or uh, to Des Moines for different events. Easy trip. Easy, absolutely easy yeah. trip. So you just hop on I-80 80 80 and, and boom, you're, you're there. right there. Yeah. So it's great. Yeah. Loved it. I was at a wedding there last weekend, and oh, I forget right? okay. how adorable that town is. Well, thank you. It is yes. a wonderful town, so a great community, and an amazing college, awesome and college. you can experience it this Saturday with Summerfest. Yes, thank you. Thank you so thank much for, for joining us today.